let's go ahead and update some existing work orders. So Drew, I want you to go to your second tab on your browser. Okay, so you got a bunch of open applications in there. So let's let's uh, go to your your first one there underneath home there, Drew. Yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and type in 45705, Drew. I am still find. All right, so, okay, the context of this is transactional data already has the, the, um, the, the work order sequence associated with it, okay? Or the routing sequence, I should have said. So Drew's gonna go and take a look at this routing. All right, but you can see right now that fifth, that operation sequence 50, it's parked at 9-11. So let's just say that work order was done or placed into the system you know, three months ago and they've been waiting and they, they're getting a hustle from, from the sales team. Okay, guys, so let's go back to our, our, our Franklin. So now we want to be able to apply two sets of instructions to existing work orders. Maybe one, could be many, could be a, a lot. So the main thing is being able to apply succinctly those particular new set of rush routing instructions to existing work orders. So point being is here, guys, is where it gets very tedious, gets somewhat difficult, and becomes a, a, a an IT level of effort. Well, here, we can let Franklin do this for us. So Drew, go ahead and, and do a level three here, or I'm sorry, entry three. Again, we can do M30, because that's the branch plant we know is, is uh, reflective of, of you know, the product we want to get out the door. So Eastern's good, Drew. All right. So an existing work order that we just mentioned earlier was 45705. All right. That is a work order right now with the old set of instructions that we want to get out the door a little bit sooner and get a new, if you will, a um, ability to expedite and, do, and go a little bit quicker. Okay. So let's go to 45701, Drew. Drew. All right. You got it there. I'm sorry. And now it's it was parked on the original work center, which is, 200-911. So let's go ahead and say the old one was 209-11, Drew. Yeah. Now the new work center is where we want to update those work orders or multiple work orders. We want to update it to the SOL operation, if you will, because they have capacity. All right. It's going to do a little bit of heavy lifting for us and said, booyah. Good. We've got a work order that's been updated. Let's click, click the confirmation link. All right, as you can see, guys, that order that we had placed into the system, say, three months ago, now is reflective. Now, imagine trying to do that tediously to multiple ones, and then at the same time, navigating through the system to do that, and and maybe with users, and you know, that may not have all the nuanced understandings of, of, of uh, Enterprise One. So, what we've effectively done is brought our digital system up with a, with a large, if you will, large language model that can converse with us, that can integrate with, within JD Edwards gracefully, but also kind of hide that, that nuance and, and provide a much better uh, user experience for sort of those tasks today that I believe everybody can relate to, which is master data management, and then getting that master data management down to the transactions.